Today we are going to learn about sets and set notation in algebra. There are three different ways to notate sets. You could put some items in parentheses, you could put some items in braces, or you could put some items in brackets. Since we're going to be doing mathematical sets, we are going to be looking at braces. So, um, if you wanted to make a set of girl names, you would make your brace and then you would make up some girl names like Lily and Beth and Sarah and you would end with a brace. You now have a set of girl names. Interestingly enough, if you were to take those same parts of your set and put them in a different order, mathematically those would be identical. They would be equivalent to each other. There is no difference between a Lily Beth Sarah set and a Beth Sarah Lily set. They are the same. Now, for our purposes today, we are going to learn about three important sets of numbers. And we're going to do it in the same way that you learned them as a child. So when you were very young, you started learning to count like this. One, two, three, four, and so on. And if we were to make all of those a set of numbers, they would be called the natural numbers. And this is your first important number set that you need to know. The next one is very much like it. It has a one, a two, a three, a four, and so forth, but it also includes a zero up here at the beginning. You could think of the zero as something that looks like a whole, and that's why we call these the whole numbers. Again, very similar to the natural numbers, but just also includes a zero. Now, you've progressed in math, and you have learned that there are also these things called negative numbers. You can have a negative 2, a negative 1, a 0, a 1, a 2. You can keep going, and these are given a special name called integers. Integers. Again, similar to the whole numbers, except now also includes these negative numbers as well. Now, this, these three sets do not explain every single number. For instance, you know that there is such a number as one half. Perhaps you even know that there is such a number as pi. Or perhaps you know that there is a number called 6.75. None of these numbers fit into any of these sets. These are just your nice, normal, basic numbers. Your natural numbers, your whole numbers, which include zero, and then your integers, which have like negative whole numbers, if you will. You need to know these three different types of mathematical sets because you will be tested on them. You will have sneaky math books that say things like, name a whole number less than five. And you think, oh, this is easy, a whole number less than five. And you'll say, negative three. And then your mean teacher will say, wrong. Negative numbers are in the integer column, not the whole number column. And I asked for a whole number less than five, which means the lowest you can go is zero. I hope this made sense. Natural numbers, whole numbers, integers. Not the same thing, and you should know the difference. 